Hey guys, welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Flow. This is a channel where we're doing workouts based on Jiu Jitsu movements and techniques. This workout, we're gonna utilize a kettlebell into the routine. So we're gonna do the body weight version followed by the kettlebell version, okay? So you don't need to use a kettlebell if you don't have one, but if you do, it's gonna be a great variation for you, okay? So just grab some open space get any weighted you know dumbbell kettlebell whatever you have all right this one's 25 pounds but you get what you can do and let's have some fun all right here we go we're going to start with our right foot forward going into a standing sprawl okay we're using our right hand to touch the ground as the right leg goes back we want to stay in a nice athletic stance maintaining our breath Again, with our breathing, we're exhaling as we exert energy, inhaling through the transition. Here we want to go at a pace where we can maintain the 30 seconds. Good. Through this rest period, we want to gather ourselves and really focus on our breathing. We're now going to go into our left leg. So as the left leg goes back, left hand will touch the ground. We're looking to maintain our athletic stance. Okay, there's different grappling stances. This is more of a wrestling stance. And we're starting in a staggered stance. So again, left foot is forward. Last round was the right foot. Push yourself, almost there. Last one. Good, and relax. Focus on the breathing. We're now gonna include a kettlebell. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, standing sprawl and do a kettlebell row. Right leg goes back, right arm kettlebell row. Nice and controlled when we use the kettlebell. We wanna be balanced throughout the whole movement. We step back and row. Nice guys. Recovering, recovering, using this time to recover. Focus on the breathing. Here we go, left side. Left leg goes back, left arm row. We wanna try and keep a, a neutral spine. So when we row, we're not hunched over. Neutral neck as well, we can look at the floor, but not bending the neck down. Always in control, balance throughout the movement. Next movement, we're gonna go into a parallel sprawl. So instead of starting with a staggered stance, our feet are gonna be parallel. Okay, we're gonna go down, hips down and sprawl. Hands first, legs shoot back. We're not dropping our hips all the way to the floor. But we wanna make sure they go down. As we come up, we're still staying in a nice athletic stance. Good. Breathe. Drawing the belly button in. On the exhale. We're now gonna use the kettlebell, so we parallel sprawl. We're gonna do a kettlebell deadlift. Okay, with the, with the kettlebell, you wanna make sure that it's close to your heels. So it's in the back of your feet, like in line with your heels. We don't want the kettlebell to be too far out in front of us. Puts unnecessary stress on our lower back. You wanna stay controlled throughout the whole movement, as always. Nice work, guys. We're now gonna go into a gorilla pass. All right, when we do this, we're gonna go 90 degrees. So we're gonna do four turns and then we're facing back where we started. Okay, when the left hand goes down, we're rotating to the right. Our feet are never coming together. We wanna make sure that, they, that we're sidestepping. 
Good. Nice and controlled. Breathing while we move. Exhale as we exert energy. Inhale through our transitions. Try to get the breathing in sync with our movement. Here we go, going to the left now. Right hand will go down. Again, we're going four movements till we're started, till we're looking back where we started. We wanna maintain a pace where we can finish the 30 seconds. Almost there. Good. All right, now we're gonna use the kettlebell. Okay, so we're gonna keep the kettlebell in our hip. We're tucking our elbow. Opposite hand, so left hand means we're going to the right. We wanna keep our elbow retracted. Whenever our arms extend, whether our opponent's pulling on us or there's weight pulling us down, we become weaker. We wanna keep our elbow tucked by our side. Much stronger. Good. Breathe. Right hand's gonna go down now. Left side. Focusing on staying in balance. Visualize your opponent, actual gorilla pass. If you don't know what it is with an opponent, you can YouTube it. Good. We're gonna move on to standing to base. We're going right side first. So we step up with the right, we step down with the right. Our knees are turning out so they're facing to the right, both knees to the right. We're standing up strong, on balance, good posture throughout the whole movement. Looking straight ahead. Good, recovering and breathing. Now we're gonna go to the left. Knees shift so they're both to the left as the left leg stands up. Sitting back down with the left leg first. Always maintaining good posture. When we're in our opponent's closed guard, they're looking to break our posture down with collar grips, knee pulls, Need to maintain that posture. Yes. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna add the kettlebell. We're gonna hold it right underneath our chin. Same thing, going to the right now. The weight's in front of us. Think about when you're in our opponent's closed guard. They're pulling on us either in a no-gi yanking on our neck or in a gi using different collar grips. You need to be able to maintain that upper body posture. Good, we're gonna switch sides going with the left. Breathe, here we go. We gotta be able to do everything on both sides, right and left. Pass to the left, pass to the right. Defend, attack. And maintaining good upper body posture on balance as we step with both. One, two. Awesome work, guys. We're now gonna go in to a jumping to base. Okay, with two hands on the ground. 
Good, two hands on the ground first. Jump both feet up to base. Oftentimes, we can put our hands on our opponent's biceps or we can use their collar, open them up, kind of shovel them into their armpit and we can stand right up to base with heavy pressure on their upper body. We're now gonna utilize the kettlebell with the deadlift. So we jump to base two hands, deadlift and down. Try to get into a nice flow. Again, the kettlebell, you wanna have it even with your heels. You guys are doing an awesome job. Keep breathing, recovering. We're now gonna do the same thing, but with one hand. Right hand first, no kettlebell. Just jumping to base with our right hand. This is more just working on our balance. Okay, breaking the movements down. The hand can go right in the center line. Trying to maintain good posture, looking straight ahead. Cover. Here we go, left hand. We can't always use both of our hands sometimes. They have a sleeve grip that they're being really stingy with, making it difficult. So we gotta be able to base with one hand, usually on their chest or belt. All right, now we're gonna include the kettlebell. It's gonna be standing to base one hand, single arm deadlift, right side first. Here we go. You can use two hands to come back down. Working on our body coordination. We want to stay at a nice pace where we can get through the full length of each movement. Left side. Here we go, left hand down, left arm deadlift. As we stand up, engage the glutes, core is nice and tight. Almost done guys, a few more exercises, almost there. Awesome. Okay, let's put the kettlebell to the side. We're gonna do forward stand to a 90-90, so to a kneeling position. Alternating sides. I'm going no hands right now because we're gonna use the kettlebell next. If this is too difficult, you can put, you can place one hand down to help you sit up. Keep your shoulders in front of your hips if there is a, a vertical line. Makes it easy through the transition. Again, we're exhaling as we exert energy, inhaling through our transitions. We're now gonna keep the kettlebell right underneath our chin. Here we go. Keep your weight forward through the transition. If you feel your shoulders start going behind the imaginary vertical line of your hips, it becomes much harder. You automatically have to use more core strength. So try and keep your, your shoulders in front of your hips. 
beautiful. Here we go, last exercise. We're gonna do a Kimura sit up. We're using one elbow as a post on the ground, the other elbow is touching our opposite side knee. Keeping our head off the ground as we transition from side to side. Breathe, we're almost done. Awesome work, here we go. Now we're adding in the kettlebell. We're gonna keep it at our chest. Still using our elbow on the ground to post. Come on. Still trying to get the opposite, or the elbow to opposite knee. Same, same principles. Elbow post on the ground, other elbows touching the opposite side knee. Come on, last one, 10 seconds and we're done. Really, really good work, guys. We're gonna finish up with a minute of breathing. Okay, we're gonna try and go at a decent pace. Again, when we do this, we wanna exhale and draw the belly button in. All right, a lot of different ways of breathing. This is my favorite. I don't even worry about the inhale. Just strictly focusing on the exhale and drawing the belly button in. Three, two, one, rest. Let's go through the 30, the 10 seconds. We're gonna just go for another 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. You can breathe out of your nose or out of your mouth, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I personally like to do both. Really focusing on breathing out of your belly. Awesome job, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again.